Hi there, Colour Blast fans. It's Melinda with you again today. This is my third recording so far of this voiceover, so fingers crossed, third time nothing. So I am creating this page uh, in this video. I had a heap of fun making it, and it's an awesome way to use that paper that you don't love. So I had this green piece of paper in a paper pad. Like I said, I don't love it. So I just grabbed my white heavy gesso, and I've got a wide paintbrush, and I am just going to town adding lots of uh, gesso to that and I'm doing quite a thick coat and I'm using that brush because I love the texture that it leaves behind so I'm going to add a quite a quite a significant coat of the gesso and dry that off then I'm going to do some stamping I'm using my stays on ink pad and this Kaiser Craft texture stamp and at this point I wasn't sure even what I was going to do at all with this piece of cardstock. I've done something similar to this in the past and I, I cut butterflies but I thought this time I'll go with some sort of geometric shape that I could maybe cut by hand. So I just wanted to add lots of texture, colour um, and just interest so I just added that stamping. I was watching I think it was one of Farrell's videos and I was like wow she's really good at cleaning all her stamps so I do attempt it and I do I think three and then give up. Um, coming in with another of my favourite stamps for texture and it is this stitched um, stitching stamp. Love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and again, I'm just, I wanted to add some vertical interest, so I'm just coming in with that stamp. There you go, you can see it all done. Now time to add colour. These shimmer dust, if you haven't used them, I seriously cannot recommend them enough. So you can't even really see where I put that colour down, but add some water and look at that. So this is the navy colour shimmer dust. And I'm just spritzing it with water and moving the page around to get the colour moving. You know, I'm not terribly concerned where exactly the colour goes on here. I'm using my heat gun to dry it off. My next colour is the navy. Sorry, the first colour I used was Duke, not navy. And then I used the navy. And again, adding a bit of water, the, uh, moving the page around, drying it off with the heat gun. And I think this is a bit more navy. I think I wasn't happy with what I'd done, so just adding a bit more and moving the colour around, adding a bit of water. I do mop up a little bit of the water as well because there's quite a lot of water on there, as you saw me just spray it all on. And I do dry it off with my heat gun as well throughout this process. So the next colour is this peacock. This colour is absolutely beautiful. I love it. And again, you can't even see where I put that colour down, but when you add water, my goodness, look at it come to life. It's like magic. I love it. And the sparkle in these dusts is just amazing. It's so hard to get on camera, um, but it is absolutely beautiful. Next colour, Paris. I decided to go with blues and greens. And this Paris colour is absolutely beautiful. It's, um, it's not a lime green. And it's certainly not yellow like the pot would suggest. As you can see, I've just applied that where I want it with a paintbrush. And then I'm going in with a paintbrush instead of just randomly applying the colour all over the place. I did want the green to stand out a little bit. So you can see I'm just going over where I've added that powder. I come back in with a bit more powder. And then come back in with my brush again in just a second. I just wanted more saturation of that colour. And these these products are so easy to make darker or lighter, more vibrant, just add a bit more colour, add, add less water, add more water. It's awesome. So there you go. You can see I've just added a bit more water, a bit more of the colour. And you can see where it's mixing with the blue. The, the dusts are reactivated when they're wet again, so the colours do blend nicely together. Next up, I forgot to show you, but I will show you in a second, is the Just Blue Just Blue Colour Shimmer Spray. This is a beautiful colour. I've only recently added it to my stash, and I love it. Love, 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 love it. So again, I'm just literally spraying that straight into the page, sopping up some of the excess water, and then onto the apple of my eye. This colour, I love this as well. It's beautiful. So again, with that, just literally spraying it on. Now, one of the colour sprays in Sapphire, this just gives a really bright, um, bright blue. And here is the page with all the colour dried. You can see the shimmer there. Isn't it beautiful? Um, I'm loving all the different textures, and I like that there's some white space. Now, I'm going to come in with some texture paste. I'm using the apple of my eye and this stencil. I decided halfway through applying this that I wanted to do two colours. 
So you'll see me in just one second grab the deep water, I think. Yes, deep water, and I'm going to smush that through the stencil as well. Um, this this part of the process took a good hour, hour and a half. So I have sped the video up quite a lot and chopped a lot of it out. But I have done that three times, and here's a close up. So there, there, and down the bottom near the middle as well. I love the texture and I love the colours. It's so pretty. So next up I decided I was going to add some black splatters and I'm using some packaging again. My heavy black gesso and some water. I do make it quite fluid. Um, I wanted some bigger splats so I add a bit more gesso, a bit more water and make it really fluid and get the big splatters that I'm after. Then I left, left that to dry overnight after all my sprinkles were done. And another little close up of all of that. It's all dry, it's shiny, it's so pretty. The texture is gorgeous. So I had the brainstorm overnight that I was going to go with triangles. And then I've just randomly chopped a couple of pieces and then started chopping triangles. So that bottom half of the page, I did decide to chop into two big triangles. Um, my cutting wasn't very straight, so I decided to go back in with my paper, paper trimmer. Now, here I decided that I wanted some open triangles. I've just grabbed, I can't even remember what kind of ruler that is, but it's awesome. And my Stanley knife, and I'm literally just measuring two lines in and cutting. Um, I do that with both pieces. And on the second piece, I actually go three lines in and then decide that I'm not happy with it. So I trim it down to two lines. So then I've got two, well, three outside edges of the triangles. That's all my triangles together there, and I decided I'm going to work on a white white cardstock background. I've got this photo of myself um, at work. We've we've got this thing happening, um, and it's live bigger. I'm not going to go into too many details, but it's about living bigger in 2017. Um, and I snapped this photo the other day when my live bigger came to me. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to go into details. It is a little bit personal. Um, I have put, I have typed up some journaling and attached it to the back of the page so that my kids or, or whoever can read it in the future if they want to. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't want to, I did think about putting the journaling inside one of those open triangles. So that's all my triangles uh, laid out and I come in with my wet glue and rather than move everything off and then try to put it back on, I attach everything together, glue it all down as like a couple of big pieces and then go back in and glue everything down. Trimming off the edges there. And I did mean to, I realised at this point that I meant to um, go around the edges of all my triangles, but I totally forgot. But it's, I still love how it looks. So there's my title, a couple of different thickers. And I decided to put some black and white tissue paper, which a friend very kindly gave me last time I caught up with her. And just using it as a layer behind my photo. This is a really awesome way to get messy with mixed media um, without making a mess, without having a super busy page or anything like that. Um, I would almost call this clean and simple if I didn't know the difference. If I didn't know that I'd spent so long on working on those triangles. I do have a heap left over, so I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. My boys might have a bit of fun creating cards or something with them as well. Um, just attaching my title. The eye didn't want to stay where I wanted it, so I just gave it a little bit of surgery. And add some, add some gesso to hopefully make my photo stick. Cannot wait for my ATG to arrive. By the time this goes live, it should have arrived, and hopefully, I love it. Um, so I decided I was going to come in with a little bit of stamping. This is a Pink Fresh uh, stamp set. I think it's called Go Get It or, hang on. Yeah, it's called Go Get It. I love it. Um, you can't read any of the sentiments here, but there's things like work in progress, no ordinary girl, I'm just going to be me, self-confidence is the new back, black, go get it, I needed that, and then there's some chevrons and some hearts. So I'm just randomly stamping on that page. 
Oh, I also added the 2017 with some um, alphas. So I'm just finishing off the stamping here. I decided that I was going to add a bit more details to those the top and the bottom corners. And I really like that subtle but quite definite detail. Uh, you can't see what I'm doing because I'm special. <laughs> um, but I've just grabbed my stays on ink pad and I'm going around the edges and just defining the edges a bit more. I just felt like it needed something. Um, as you can see, the more I go around, the more ink I add, the messier it gets. But I love it. I think it looks great. Um, I really think it finishes the page off. It's not for everyone. I get that. But I'm really happy with it. Um, date. And I stamp that in two places. And a close-up of the completed layout. Sorry for that line across. That's where my blinds are. Um, but one finished page. There are some close-ups coming up. Please, um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, like I said, this was a super fun, uh, I, I was literally just playing, it was super, super fun. So if you want to just experiment with some paint and some colour and some shimmer dusts, definitely get some and just get out a piece of paper that you don't love if you don't have anything else. Cover it in gesso and go crazy, it's so much fun. Um, I will see you in my very next video. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. And make sure you head over to the blog post for more details and close-ups. Thanks. See ya.